Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. If Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua does not fight next, you can blame Deontay Wilder. Now, this is a direct quote from Eddie Hearn. If it's 2020, it's going to be very disappointing. Wilder's always said one face, one champion. We can make an undisputed fight right now if that's important to him and the legacy is important, then he'll fight Joshua. We can't do anything if he doesn't want the fight. Now, this is the one thing that I don't understand about Wilder fanboys is they always ignore facts and so let's be unbiased and let's just focus on the facts forget everything that's happened up till today anthony joshua a unified world champion wants to fight deontay wilder for undisputed instead deontay wilder is focused on a rematch which has no significant belts on the line other than his wbc world title people say lineal lineal is meaningless so let's just be honest at this point the real belts are the ones aj and wilder holds and I believe Fury should be the WBC heavyweight champion. I believe he was robbed, but that's beside the point. Let's be honest and unbiased. Deontay Wilder is clearly ducking Anthony Joshua. He doesn't want that fight right away, and he's trying to save face. Now, and his fanboys will come out and rush to his defense on everything. Let's let's be honest. And the reason why we know that Deontay Wilder is preferring a rematch, you know, with Tyson Fury is basically an interview that Shelly fin Finkel Deontay Wilder's co-manager did and basically he stated that they're in the early stages of working on a deal for the Tyson Fury rematch and that he believes the fight will get made and that's from Shelly Finkel Deontay Wilder's co-manager so he b believes and feels that the rematch will get made right away but as far as Anthony Joshua the biggest payday of Deontay Wilder's career and a chance to be undisputed world champion He's going to pass up on for an opportunity to fight Tyson Fury in a rematch, which makes no sense. If he beats Anthony Joshua, not only would he get a larger payday, he would be the undisputed world champion. Then he could move on and face a Tyson Fury with all the belts and even be even more massive. But I don't think that he wants to fight Anthony Joshua because the facts show us that he does not want that. You know, Deontay Wilder is full of contradictions and that's why he always says that he believes the heavyweight division should just be one face one name he always wants to unify but yet he's been in no unification matches he had an opportunity you know all these fanboys come out and mention this 50 million and we already know the 50 million dollars has been debunked multiple times but you know people tend to ignore that but that's fine even if you want to ignore that, even if you if you want to believe that the 50 million was real, which we know it wasn't. But even if you want to believe that, then make this make sense. If Deontay Wilder and they have 50 million for AJ, you don't have six million for Joseph Parker. So you could have unified with Joseph Parker and had a belt and made AJ try to come to you with closer to a 50 50 deal. But you didn't unify because you didn't want to fight an undefeated world champion. That's plain and simple. And that's that's what these guys don't seem to understand, that this same thing with Deontay Wilder keeps happening over and over and over again. He said there's only should be one face, one name, one champion. But yet you won't fight for undisputed right away. You have a golden opportunity. You say Anthony Joshua is scared. You say he's a coward. So why wouldn't you take the fight? Clearly, he knows Anthony Joshua will be the most difficult fight of his career. And in my opinion, I believe Tyson Fury beats him in the rematch, which Deontay Wilder, at that point, he's left out of the, the equation. Then it's just AJ and Fury fighting for Undisputed. And that's the way it should be right now. Because in my opinion, Fury won that fight. And, you know, you have a lot of guys saying, you know, when Deontay Wilder, it's going to adjust, you know, to the Tyson Fury style. Um, and, you know, Tyson, you know, this is this is one line I've been hearing a lot. Tyson Fury was at his best while Deontay Wilder was at his worst. And, and you know, it was a draw. First of all, that's bull. And this is why Tyson Fury had been out of the ring, fought two tomato cans, came in, lost a ton of weight, and no one knew what Tyson Fury was going to show up, and yet he still put on a boxing masterclass. He's only going to get better. We have not seen Tyson Fury's best on Deontay Wilder as of yet. But that Deontay Wilder that we saw is the same one we saw for 40 fights. He does not make adjustments. He does not listen to his corner. And he has no pure boxing ability or skill. Deontay Wilder can adjust because he doesn't have the tools or capabilities. He doesn't have the mindset. He's never made an adjustment. And why would he start now? 
He's a one trick pony who depends on a right hand. He feels there's no adjustment needs to be made because in every fight he's ever had, aside from this most recent one, Fury, the right hand has bailed him out. So why would he change the formula that have worked for him for so long? It would make no sense. And that's the way Deontay Wilder saw that fight with Fury. And when Fury got up, he had no answer. He had no adjustments. He had nothing. The, ne the next fight, Tyson Fury will be even leaner, will be even faster, and will be in a better position to hurt Deontay Wilder for the simple fact that he knows Deontay Wilder's speed. He knows his power. He knows how to get to him at this point. So the we're going to see the very best of Tyson Fury. There's no adjustments that Deontay Wilder can make at this point. And the reason why I say that is because you can't turn into a top level boxer in one training camp. It's just not possible. And Deontay Wilder is still going to be pretty much the same fighter we know looking to land a lucky right hand. Once again, it's the IBFP. Unbiased as always. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.